The COVID-19 pandemic has organizations scrambling to identify the exposure of at-risk members of their workforces, so they can quickly adjust resource allocation and operations as things continue to develop. In the next few minutes, we'll walk through how you can use search and AI-driven analytics to identify at-risk regions and workers, so you can optimize your workforce contingency plans in real time as new data is available. For this example, we're using coronavirus data from Johns Hopkins University alongside publicly available federal workforce data from the U.S. Office of Personnel Management. But you could easily swap your own workforce data from other relational databases. We've created a connection to our Snowflake database with ThoughtSpot Embrace, so we always have access to the latest data as it's loaded into Snowflake. Embrace for Snowflake enables us to run search and AI-driven analytics directly against existing databases without moving any data or the need for data modeling typically required by traditional analytics tools. Let's start by identifying the states where the virus is having the least impact so far. And we can get even more precise with our search using a powerful inline query to specifically identify states with less than 300 cases and we'll look at the last 14 days to see how things are tracking. As of this recording, we can see that only four states have less than 300 cases. Let's convert this to a stacked area chart to see how these states compare. North Dakota is concerning. We can see their numbers fluctuating up and down initially, but now the trend is upward for several days. Let's pin this to a live dashboard so we stay on top as the data changes. Here you can see that we've already started building out this pin board. One of the answers we previously pinned shows the number of employees at risk by agency and age group. Let's apply a filter so we're looking specifically at North Dakota. We can see that the VA has the greatest number of workers overall, as well as at-risk workers in North Dakota. The ThoughtSpot Pinboard experience is completely interactive. Here, we can drill down to see what roles are potentially at risk. We immediately see that the greatest number of at-risk workers in the VA are nurses. Let's do another quick search to see if there are any contract nurses we can have at the ready. Great, there are 46 nurses in North Dakota we can have ready to go. In just a few minutes, we've discovered that North Dakota could be our next hotspot. The VA has the greatest number of at-risk workers in that state, and the greatest number of those workers are nurses. And we've leveraged AI to uncover dozens of insights to related questions we had yet to ask. Now we can think about whether we potentially want to temporarily relocate nurses from other states to the VA in North Dakota as those states recover. And we can build a contingency plan for managing a significant amount of clerical work in the FCC. That's just one example demonstrating how speed to insights can help manage workforce management and resource allocation in times of volatility.